hello guys welcome back so today we're gonna do some more jobs just like usual but before that i want to tell you guys a little bit of story uh. so basically yesterday as you already know i bought a new truck right and the truck is the truck that you're looking at right now on your screen this is a volvo uh, fh sleeper if i'm not wrong uh, I got some upgrades like the horns, accessories, some lightings on the front, and also upgraded the engine to 500 horsepower. Also, uh, the drivetrain to have a uh, retarder and some other accessories like this case for the gas tank. But basically, I spent about 141,000 euros. And at that time, my money was around that much as well. I was 141 something and the truck was 141 something. After I bought the truck, I only have 193 euros left, and I guess you guys already know that, right? But if you see on the right side of the screen right now, my money is minus 1,275 euros. Why is that, you might ask? So, yesterday, after I finished my recording, I found out that I can actually disable the speed limit in this game, and if you guys don't know, uh, it's basically go to the options menu on here and go to the gameplay menu and scroll down a little bit to the truck settings. This is truck settings and you would see truck speed limiter. This is disabled right now, but before it was checked. So when it was checked, uh, the limiter for every single truck in this game is 90 kilometers an hour. But if you disable it, well, there's no speed limit. I mean, it depends on how much power do you have on your truck. And then, basically, I got excited uh, for that, so I tried my own truck, 500 horsepower, with no trailer. I was roaming, like, around the highway, and I was testing, like, how much top speed does this truck have. Uh, I was going up to 140-something kilometers an hour, you know, it was so quick, it was so fast for a, uh, for a truck. So, yeah, when I reached 140-something kilometers an hour... There's a car in front of me that just, you know, slows down or breaks suddenly, I forgot. But basically in front of me, the car was getting very close, very quick. So I got to do a hard braking to my truck. But the thing is, the retarder in this truck is still activated. So I was doing a hard brake. The retarder was helping so much as well. But basically I lost control to this truck. And then the truck crashed to the side of the road, to the fences, you know and yeah it got a lot of damage uh and the damage is this much you can see on the diagnostics uh, menu engine is 14 percent transmission eight percent chassis 29 percent cabin 23 percent and the wheels is four percent damaged if i want to fix this all it will cost me uh 15 000 euros pretty much now you might ask like why is my money minus 1200 then so when I was going 140 kilometers an hour on the highway, I got a speed ticket. And it was a pretty expensive speed ticket as well. I was around 60 kilometers an hour above the speed limit, right? So I got 4,000 euros worth of speed ticket. And my money was supposed to be minus 4,000 something, right? But no. Uh, after that, I tried to do a job. I tried to fix my financials, you know. I tried to find a job on the job market. I was using... Uh, other companies truck because I can't really use my truck right now I mean, it's still usable, but it's not under prime condition and I'm afraid that something would happen on the road So I just used the job market menu. I did a job that was worth like uh, I forgot maybe 5,000 6,000 7,000 I forgot but it was less than 10,000 So after I finished the job my money was supposed to be not minus anymore, right? But when I'm doing that job, I got some more speed limit because uh, as you remember, the speed limit on my option was still disabled. So I was curious, like, how much top speed does a truck have? It was 700 horsepower truck uh, with a trailer. So I was going very quick as well. I got some speed tickets. It was not as big or as much as the uh, ticket that I got from my own truck. But I got it a lot of times, like maybe like a thousand, a thousand, thousand, five hundred, something like that. But basically, after I finished the job, my money is still minus and the amount is what you're seeing right now which is minus 1275 euros so to fix all of this i wanted to do a job that can just uh revive my financial problems uh the money that i have and also the damage that i did to my own truck 
215,113 plus 1,275. That is around 16,400 euros, right? Almost. But just to be safe, we're going to try to do uh, a job that has more than that amount. Maybe 20,000 would be good. But I already searched for some jobs, but uh, there's no 20,000 uh, worth of job right now. The most payout right now is 18,858 euros. So yeah, there's no 20,000. But I guess we're just going to do this. I mean, this is the only choice that we have, right? Uh, what I'm seeing right now... The, uh, the job with the most payout is 18,858, but it is 613 kilometers. Now, the third one is 18,134, but it is 589 kilometers. And if you uh, sort it by the price per distance, this one is actually the most worth it. It is 8 hour and 43 minutes trip. So I guess we're just going to do this one. So let's take the job. Okay, we are starting at night. Let's turn on the engine. Drive safe. Also, the headlights as well. High beam as well right now. I'm gonna fix that later. We are delivering a uh, single trailer, as you can see on the mirror on the right. So it should be pretty easy. I'm already used to this. Turn left. Turn right. It's so dark, I can't really see anything properly. Even though my monitor is already at the highest brightness, but it's still very dark. And I'm already using high beam as well. Oh, 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 oh. Shit, shit. I didn't notice that. I was talking about how I am used to uh, doing this kind of thing, doing these kind of container. And I just messed up a few seconds after. Exit now. This is a new city, guys. Usually we are not on this kind of city, right? Because I was doing so much job yesterday, uh, I was farming euros because I wanted to buy a new truck. And you guys didn't see all of them because I only made like the time lapse for the first uh, two jobs. When I actually did about four or five or six jobs, there was so much I was doing jobs from, uh, I don't know, maybe 1 p.m. until it was about 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. I spent so much time yesterday doing jobs. And that just leads me to be able to uh, make just one video. Usually I make two videos a day. My chair is too high, guys. I'm gonna... That's better. Keep in mind that we still have the speed limiter off. And I don't think I'm gonna make it enabled again. So I might do some speedings again. But hopefully I can still control myself this time. I mean, it was so exciting yesterday, so... Yeah. The one thing that I'm still questioning to this day is why in the job market menu when we are using other companies truck we never use Volvo we used Iveco we used uh, man we used Scania we used Mercedes uh, we used Renault I guess but we never use Volvo why is that is it because uh, Volvo are too expensive for the companies or I just never actually get to choose the one with the Volvo. I always chose the ones that are not Volvo. I'm gonna check that out later. And you can see that uh, this is, might be the first time you're seeing me going onto a... Uh, what is this called? Like a highway toll? Toll road. Yeah, basically stop at the... Yeah, this kind of thing. But I did this a lot of times yesterday, so it's not really new anymore for me.
I'm just turning on the cruise control right now, so the speed limit is very controlled. Don't want to get any more tickets. My money is already minus. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Yesterday, I also got uh, some crashing violence tickets. Even though, I feel like I didn't crash anyone. It always happens, like... Uh, crash violence notifications on the bottom right. But I didn't actually crash to anyone. Why does that always happen? Or maybe it's because of the trailer that I have hit someone and I just didn't realize it. Could be. Oh yeah, I just remembered. There's one more story, guys. So, yesterday on one of my jobs that I did in this game, there's a job that uh, wants me to deliver something, of course. It was a pretty long distance job. And one thing happened. So, when the GPS asked me to turn right, there's a police blocking the way. So, in the first attempt, I thought, ah, this is gonna be okay I mean I still have some space left to go you know uh, around the police so I just did that and I just continued with my trip but after a few kilometers maybe five ten kilometers maybe there's another police blocking the way so I thought okay so this road was blocked by the first police because it is actually forbidden so there's a second police uh, after about five or ten kilometers I didn't care about that again uh, I just continue my journey, my trip, and after a few kilometers, I saw a fucking helicopter in the middle of the road, basically blocking the way, and there are some other cars around it as well, crashed cars actually, so I guess um, it's a collision, it's an accident, it's a crash, and basically the helicopter was trying to help uh, the cars that crashed, I guess. But I saw some space around it, uh, it was very narrow, but I thought maybe I could just slip my truck to there. And I just tried to do that, and I failed. This space is not enough. So I just have to back up my truck, let's go to the other way, you know, back to the other way. Even though it's a highway, I'm not supposed to make a U-turn something. But I tried to do that, and it was not possible, because the container is too long. So, I have to press F7 and just tow my truck to be delivered to a service place or something. And I did that, I paid about, I don't know, maybe 1000 euros probably. And then, I continued to do that job. Well, after a few minutes, on the same spot, the same thing happened again. The police was blocking the right turn and, and I, you know, I thought for the second time, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna go straight and hope for the GPS to reroute. So I did that, and the GPS rerouted. Uh, it changed directions. So after a few minutes, a few kilometers, maybe 100, 200 kilometers, I'm back at the same place. Now, at that time, I didn't realize that I was at the same place. So I thought, I'm just gonna do straight again. Maybe it's actually a different uh, route, a different direction. But maybe it's just the same incident, like there is a police on the other direction. So I go straight again. Well, little do I know. After a few minutes, a few hundred kilometers, I'm back at the same spot again. And at that third attempt, I already think that something is wrong. So what am I supposed to do right now? When I'm going straight, I am rerouted to go around the same way so I'm pretty much back to the place where the police was blocking the road so what should I do now I mean the GPS doesn't want to reroute so what I did is I tried to go around the police again just like the first attempt you know and hope that this time uh, the thing that is blocking the way is not a helicopter anymore I hope it's something else uh, that leaves me enough space to go around it or beside it you know and luckily after a few kilometers, I saw that it is actually not a helicopter anymore. It was a car crash. It was. It is still blocking the road. Uh, it's still pretty hard to go around it as well. But this time, 
uh, the space actually fits my truck so I was able to like you know snuggle my truck to go beside the car crash and yeah basically I continued my job and finished the job that was a pretty time-wasting occurrence uh, that I've ever experienced in this ETS2 I was wasting so much time at doing that it was the one job that wastes uh, most of my time yesterday I was spending about I don't even know maybe two hours just doing one job and I lost a lot of money as well because uh, I was late I spent too much time on the road and basically I crashed a few times because I was trying to snuggle the car crash and everything and you know I got a lot of ticket from that so basically I didn't get a lot of use from doing that job but I wasted so much time I really hope that that kind of thing wouldn't happen again when I'm playing ETS2. It's just so frustrating. And yesterday was also the time when I discovered that the lines on our side like this would sound like uh like a singing road on YouTube. You would see that a lot of times, right? If we put our tires on it like As you can hear and it's actually a good thing so we wouldn't get out of the lane because the lane would notice us that you're going out of the lane by doing like uh. you know what I was thinking I mean we're gonna get about 18,000 euros from this shop and I needed only around 16,000 something so I guess it's okay to go above the speed limit. Well, just try to be safe though. Don't be like uh, too much above. I'm just trying to be quick. It is 103 kilometers an hour right now. You know, I'm just trying to be fast. I'm just trying to finish this job quick and also have fun as well. <laughs> Keep left and then continue straight on. Yo, this thing is so quick. 117 on a trailer that would be dangerous if I can't control this thing bro we are going so fast we're gonna arrive in like two minutes oh whoa 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 okay 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 that's enough we already got a speeding violation 1500 euros so I pretty much have nothing left after I finish the shop <laughs> Just gonna stay on the speed limit right now. That's enough, guys. I'm gonna do that when I have more money in the future. Oh, I just realized that I'm going on low graphics right now. I was looking at the sky and I was thinking like, it's so beautiful. And I realized and remember that I'm running on low graphics. So I'm gonna change it now, guys. I'm gonna change it to medium. Uh, so it's gonna be a little bit better for you, uh, for you guys' eyes. I mean, I'm not saying that the low looks bad, it's, it already looks pretty good, but medium is going to be a little bit better. I mean, my PC can handle it, so why not? Oh, what is happening? What is happening? Oh, okay, it's fine. I thought it was going to be a roadblock. I mean, what was the truck even doing? It's not a crash, it's not something, huh? I don't know what that is. Keep right and then exit right. Oh, wait, wait. Is the road blocked again? Right. Ah, this is exactly what happened yesterday. Well, not exactly like this though, because the police was uh, right there. It was the same thing, but like the example. The thing that's blocking the way, like the fire truck right now, it's not here. It's still like around 10 kilometers in the front. So it's a little bit different, but pretty much the same. And based on my experience, I'm gonna use the left side of the road. Well, oh, the right side, I mean. But I'll see if it's enough or not. Well, I guess if we see it from here, the left side is actually a little bit wider. So we're just gonna stick to the... Uh, left side. Hopefully this is gonna be enough though. I mean, what else are we gonna do? Sh 
shit. I can use this camera. Oh, uh oh. This is actually gonna be enough, guys. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Is the trailer fine? I think it's gonna get stuck. Oh, it's not actually. We managed to go through it, guys. That's amazing. Nice, nice. Thank God. Okay, the wind stopped. The sky is getting even brighter. And we are 35 kilometers left. And there's another fire truck on here. Fuck. Luckily, though, the, uh, the right side of the road is pretty wide. So we're just going to go through it like this. That's pretty easy. And we're just going to continue our trip. Hopefully those kind of things won't happen again though. I really hate it. So much. So fucking much. Okay, we are almost at the destination guys. Exit. Right. The road is so big on this country. I don't know which country is this. Keep I think right Italy. And then turn right. Correct me if I'm wrong though. I've been here once before. I did it uh, yesterday. And I think it was the job where I spent two hours like I just told you guys. Oh! Sorry for that. Did not notice. Sorry, wrong camera. Turn right. I'm gonna go here. And of course, Turn like right usual, we are going to park the truck by Since myself. And I think I'm actually better right now at parking trucks manually. Going reverse. Let's see if I'm actually better or not. Okay, so the parking place is gonna be here. So we're just gonna do Okay. Guess that's not Ah no 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 sorry. I guess that's not enough though. So you basically have to follow the trailer, like don't just steer to the right like this, but follow it a little bit to the left. Oh we crashed. Not crashed, but touch the fence behind us. Don't go too quick. Don't press on the gas too much. It's not enough. It's not enough left. Ah! Am I actually better on this? Or am I actually just still as bad? Why it keeps doing that? It keeps going up. I guess we need to go a little bit uh, to here. We are still spending as much time as before, so I guess I'm not that good yet, guys. I'm sorry. This might be it. This might be it, guys. That seems pretty good. That seems pretty good, guys. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. Okay. A little bit here. Okay. That's good. Ooh. 
Let's see the position. Looks very good, guys. It is almost straight. Almost. You get a little thumbnail on here. Here as well, maybe. I think it's good. Okay, press T. And we are done for the job. We got a uh, 13,000, 1,000, 1,600, 18,000 euros. Okay. It is definitely going to be enough for uh, the repair for my truck and also for the depth that I got. Uh, sorry. Level 10, skilled worker, even though I don't have much skills on controlling trucks. Uh, but we're going to put it on... What is this? Higher rewards for finishing an important delivery. 20% experience bonus for finishing an important delivery. I've never got this before. Even though I don't think it's going to be very useful. But I'm just going to choose this one. Okay. We have fi we have 15,000 right now. Uh, is it actually going to be enough for my truck? 15. Okay. It is going to be enough. But I'm going to have like only 200 euros something left. So yeah, that's fine. We're just going to go to a uh, nearest service place. And we are pretty near, actually. I'm already here at the map with my own truck. And the service place is on here. We're going to put it there. And we're just going to... How do we... Oh, we drive. Okay. We're just going to go there and fix our truck, guys. Time to get the job done. Engine malfunction. Luckily, I can still start. Ah, let's see the map. Okay. I'm supposed to go back then. Hopefully, it's still gonna work, guys. It turned off again. Fucking hell. It's a good thing that we are very close to the service place, though. If it's far away, it's gonna be very bad. And I'm saying this once again, the interior looks very nice on this Volvo. And that is pretty much the only reason why I chose Volvo. And I didn't even see the right side of the plane at that time. Let's go. Went for it. And by the way guys, there's no speed limit, right? I'm saying it once again. Uh, I was going like 140 something on the highway yesterday. And it could go a little bit more than that, I guess. Maybe even more. A lot more maybe. Not sure. But basically, after I already damaged my truck, I can only, uh, I can only go up to 118 kilometers an hour. So yeah, that's a bummer. I mean, it's crashed though. It is damaged, so uh, it makes sense. Service place is uh, very near. Please mind the speed limit. Kept going above the speed limit. This truck is Get so ready. powerful. Turn left and then turn right. Okay. The sound for this truck is a little bit different than the trucks that we always drive, like the other company's trucks. Don't know why is that. Maybe because the engine is so special for this one. Hey. <laughs> okay. Wait. Man truck service. Can we actually service our Volvo in here? Can we do this? Truck dealer is closed. I really hope I can service my truck here, guys. Oh. oh oh thank god i can actually service my truck doesn't always be uh always have to be a man okay fifteen thousand one hundred thirteen. we're gonna repair that and we are finished guys the truck is back to normal what is this can we 
do something about this. I'm gonna do that later for this team. Oh, we actually unlocked some new chassis. Six by two or four. What does that mean? It's expensive though. Oh, is that the tires? Because this thing only it's a double tire on the behind, but this one in the middle doesn't have a double tire. But this one is double on both of them. And where is this? Ah, I don't know what does that do, guys. Anyways, um, yeah, I guess that's it for today, guys. I mean, I'm not gonna do some more jobs again, but it, because it's gonna waste so much time, and I know for a fact that this video is already pretty long. So yeah. I guess I'll end it here, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.